there's no watch. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I need to pick up a GMT Pepsi Oyster right now, which is where I am cycling to. I also need to get a Tiffany OP36 and a Panda Daytona. Okay, a couple of parcels have just arrived. First watch is a Tiffany OP 36 mil. I'm gonna try that on because it looks like it will probably fit my wrist. Let's have a look. Uh, almost, kind of. Yeah, I like this. I think the 36 mil size on someone who has pretty small wrists. Uh, yeah, really good size. They seem to be more popular these days. Next watch I have had delivered is Very well taped. There we go. I'm gonna take this out. There it is. Okay. This watch is I think it's the most well-known Rolex ever. I would I would go as far as one of, maybe top two. It's top two. First observation though, not even the watch. This is a big, this is a big Rolex box, meaning that's for uh, that's for a precious metal Rolex, so I don't know why it's come with this. Anyhow, actually no, let's play a game. I'm gonna give you three clues, you have to guess what it is. No cheating, I don't know how you, yeah, don't, don't skip. Okay, first clue is one of the most po popular watches of all time, not just Rolex, but top two Rolex. Originally a driver's watch, probably quite easy now, um, but you still might not get it based on that. So um, the nickname of it is an animal that is often seen in China. If you've not got it by now, it is the Rolex Panda Daytona. Very, very nice watch, this is a 2020, uh, yeah, it's got everything in here. I think uh, a market observation of this watch um, seems to be quite hard to get hold of. It seems to be very, very hard. And I've noticed now the last two weeks, prices are changing and they ain't going that way so much anymore, which is a good sign, not because I want to you know, make more money off prices going up. That's not the case at all. I think it's more just... Uh, a, good, a good indication of the healthiness of the watch market. Um, it seems like watches are back to a good, a good price. I think we can all agree on that. It is still a better time to buy versus sell because if you were, if you bought a watch last year or whenever, you're probably not going to break even or make money on the watch, depending on the watch. But yeah, it seems to be uh, a very good time to buy now because it seems like prices are down here and you know possibly at the, the the lower end that we will see for a very long time so do you know one of the difficult things about having a watch business is you know I see all these beautiful watches you know every day I'm so tempted to just put it on my wrist and wear it I can't do that for two reasons because I want to sell the watch and I don't want to like mark it up or anything the second reason is I live in London it's not so uh, it's not so safe as you guys probably know but I now need to go to have a guess. Where am I going to say? You just, you just know before I've said it. Hatton Garden, correct. So yeah, I'm going to go to Hatton Garden. I need to pick up a watch that I've had polished and I need to go see someone else in Hatton Garden. Just, uh, I need to buy a booklet, so. But yes, that is what my morning will consist of. Okay. So, I have got to Canary Wharf. I lived here from 2017 to 2022, which is crazy to think that I spent, I think almost, literally almost five years in Canary Wharf. I worked at Barclays for three years, hence why I also lived here, just lazy, just wanted to be closer to work, but ended up actually really liking it here. It is a good place to live, I promise. Um, but the reason I'm here is because I have in my pocket two links that I need to give to a client. I sold the Starbucks last week and he needs two links. So I've got that for him. And also after that, I'm seeing somebody else because I'm also buying a Starbucks as well. So that one will be for sale, 2021. Very, very good condition, pretty much unworn. So let me know if you're interested, but yeah, let's go, uh, let's go pick it up. Okay, so dropped off the links and uh, paid for the Starbucks which is now available. Uh, it is 2021, full set, mint, it's not been worn, very, very happy with it. So reach out to me on Instagram or WhatsApp me or email me if you're interested. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I went to Hatton Garden, picked up a couple of watches that had been at the Polisher. And uh, I am now, like I said, in central London. I'm about to go on a run. This is gonna be my sixth day in a row running. So for anyone that wants to lose a bit of weight or wants to feel a bit fitter, try running every single day for a week and tell me at the end of it how good you feel. Uh, that is my target at the moment. Just run as much as possible. I feel great when I do it and also go to the gym as uh, I do lose a bit of weight when I run all the time. So trying to, trying to get the muscles back, you know? But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go for this run and I'll see you at home. So usually I get sent watches, but if someone lives in London, actually, it's actually quite convenient for me to meet people to pick up a watch, um, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. I need to go get a, it's not a Rolex. Um, I need to look at this, but I think most of the watches that I sell, I'd go as far as saying 97.5% of the watches that I sell are Rolex. Uh, and then the other 1% per tech, and then the other 1.5% would be AP. <coughs> I don't know that for sure, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I'm actually gonna go pick up a Patek, a 5167. Um, the Aquanaut 2021 looks to be very, very good condition, so I'm gonna go meet the seller somewhere in London, not to be revealed for my safety. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go pick that up, pay for it if all is okay. And I actually think I might have a buyer for it tomorrow, which would be a very, very good turnaround. I think that's, that's basically the aim if you have a watch business or any business, you know, whatever you buy, you wanna sell as quickly as possible in the watch world or maybe in business in general, it's called a sold order. Um, and it basically minimizes risk for you if you have a business. If someone already wants the thing before you've got it and you know that it's sold before you've bought it, that is a very, very good situation. Um, but anyway, you'll be coming with me now. I'm gonna take the camera off you because I am gonna bring you to, yeah, the place. And I'm hoping this watch is all good because I would like to buy it. But yeah, I'll see you when I've got it. I couldn't really film where I was, so I just, yeah, decided to come back. But anyway, it's funny because like you guys have no reason to believe that I actually went out just now, but I did. I promise you I didn't just fill a bag with a Patek box and film again straight away, I promise. Uh, if I could prove it, I would. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, here is, here is the box. Exciting times. Okay. Do you know what, one observation right off the bat, Patek do their packaging and their boxing to the absolute best amongst all other brands in the watch industry, that's just my opinion, but I think it's largely agreed that Patek do it the best. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Oh. Beautiful, right, let's take a look. There's no watch. I'm joking, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Can't fool you guys, I know. But yeah, here it is. It's in this little Patek pouch. Let me just get it out. So this is an uncut strap. And as I said before, yeah, 2021. Very, very lightly worn. And you can only tell that it's worn on the clasp. I mean, the case, the case back, the shoulders, the bezel area, it's all fine. So, um, like I said, I think I do have someone for it. If you're interested in one of these watches anyway, I do get, not, not a lot, but I do get these offered from time to time. So it is a watch that I can get in stock and available for you guys if you're interested. But for now, I'm gonna take a few photos, put them on Instagram. I think while I've got it, it's not Christmas yet, but um, a human that lives in my house has decided to do this. Anyway, let me put the actual light on had another delivery um, and I also want to show you what well yeah what I've done over here I've actually organized I've organized my life a little bit but yeah I am gonna show you this watch um, in a couple of videos ago I also had this the same watch please can you pass me the knife yeah. Um, yeah also had the same watch and I said it was the most popular watch in the world at the moment and I think that still stands true because prices for these are going up. 
and I'm getting a lot of demand for them. So if I can get inside of it, I will show you. Ah, here we go. Right. Oh! Wow. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, wow, this is proper, proper wrapped. Fair play. Right. I think I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna sit down. Because uh, why stand when you can sit? It is a... Oh, original purchase receipt. That is an added bonus. It is a... Pepsi Jubilee. Well done if you guessed that correctly. It's literally... Wow. It's minty, minty fresh. It is... Uh, in amazing condition. Uh, it's got everything, card, booklets, got the t both the tags, follow me. I also want to show you how I've semi got my life together. Um, so, I have some watches here that I need to take to my safety deposit box. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have my filming stuff, some random bits and pieces, like bubble wrap for when I send a watch. I've got like Royal Mail delivery bags. I've got things for photography. Uh, yeah, boxes, camera, all that kind of stuff. So actually this is, um, it's very nice for me to have all of this. What I will say is though, these two watches here, so the, the Tiffany 36 and also the Panda Daytona, um, these have sold to a buyer. So I'm gonna go see them tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, very early. Um, yeah, and hopefully, I'm sure he will be very happy with these. So yeah, all good. And what I have next to it here is Pepsi on Oyster. Oh, I've got an Oyster and a Jubilee now. That's fun, isn't it? All right, I'll see you probably tomorrow morning. <laughs>